Hey guys, it's Marky and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another EdTech series na gagawin ko dito sa aking channel. For this series, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gamitin ang Google Meet bilang isang teacher at bilang isang student. So for the first part of this series, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano magsimula ng isang meeting or conference gamit ang Google Meet na maaari niyong magamit sa inyong online class. Pero bago tayo magsimula, if you are new to this channel, I suggest you subscribe and hit that notification bell katabi ng subscribe button para updated kayo sa mga bagong educational videos na i-upload ko tulad nito. So let's start! Ang unang-unang yung gagawin to start a new meeting or conference in Google Meet is you have to first open your browser. For this example or for this video, gagamitin natin ang Google Chrome. Next, kailangan kayong mag-sign in sa inyong Google account. All you have to do is click the sign in button right here and then sign in to your Google account. Pagkatapos mag-sign in, ay pwede nang i-open ang inyong Google Meet. And actually, there are two ways to open Google Meet. The first way is of course to click this nine dots right here and then select Meet. The other way to open Google Meet is of course just to type in your address bar meet.google.com After successfully opening Google Meet, you can start a new meeting by clicking this new meeting button right here. After opening, makakakita kayo ng tatlong options. Get a meeting link to share, start an instant meeting, and schedule in Google Calendar. Let's start with get a meeting link to share. Pagkatapos nyo i-click yan, makikita nyo yung URL na pwede nyo i-share sa inyong mga estudyante bilang isang teacher. At for the students, ito yung link na magagamit ninyo para makapag-join sa meeting or sa inyong online class. The next option is to start an instant meeting. Ibig sabihin, if you click this one, Google Meet will automatically create a virtual room for you kung saan pwede kayong mag-usap ng iyong teacher or ng iyong students. After clicking the start and instant meeting, ito yung makikita nyo. In here, you'll have an option to turn on and turn off your camera. Also, you have an option to turn on and turn off your microphone bago kayo magsimula ng inyong meeting. To check your camera and microphone, all you have to do is click this one and piliin itong settings at tingnan kung ano yung naka-default na microphone or default speaker ninyo. If you are ready to join the meeting, all you have to do is click join now. After clicking join now at ikaw yung host, makikita mo itong window na ito na kung saan ibibigay ng Google Meet yung URL na pwede mong i-share sa mga participants ng iyong conference or ng iyong meeting. All you have to do is copy that one and then give that to your participants. Pagkatapos, pwede mong i-close yan. So ayan, nasa loob na tayo ng ating Google Meet. To check kung sino yung kasali sa meeting na ito, all you have to do is click this icon right here. And then, you'll be able to see the list of participants. Now, for this example, since tayo lang yung tao dito, syempre, ako lang yung nasa listahan na ito. In Google Meet, you also have the chance to chat or to talk with the other participants of this meeting by simply clicking this chat button right here and then typing your message. To remove this window, pwede nyo yung i-close. For students, always remember na pag binigyan kayo ng URL ng teacher ninyo para ma-access yung Google Meet ninyo, all you have to do is copy that URL or click that URL and then automatically mapupunta kayo dito sa Google Meet online classroom ninyo. For the part 2 of this tutorial, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-present ng inyong PowerPoint presentation at paano mag-share ng video na may kasamang magandang audio sa inyong mga participants. If you learned from this video, don't forget to give this a like or a thumbs up. Share this video to your friends para malaman naman nila kung paano gamitin ang Google Meet. Thank you very much for watching. Laban lang!